Okay, welcome to Dave's Cooking Show, and for you today, we have a maple curry chicken. And what we have here in this pan is two chicken breasts that I've cubed up into bite-sized pieces, maybe a little more than bite-sized pieces. And I'm going to season it with my all-purpose seasoning blend. Uh, that's My blend is just equal parts pepper, salt, garlic powder, and onion powder. And then we're just going to cook these till they're done. Okay, our chicken is now done. You want to use a slotted spoon to get the chicken into a bowl or on a plate. Just set it aside for a little bit. Uh, I would recommend covering it so it has a chance to rest properly. But the reason I'm doing it like this is you want to you see all that liquid in there? Well, we want that for what comes next. And the first thing we're going to do is add a half an onion that I roughly sliced up. Remember, it doesn't have to be, you know, super fine, super perfect. And just stir that around and let it get softened up a bit. And after you've given the onions just a bit, about a minute, maybe two, uh, to soften up, add three cloves of garlic minced. Okie dokie. Then you want to add to five cups of boiling water, 16 ounces of rice, and then uh, you want to kill the heat, cover, and simmer for 20 minutes. Or until the rice has absorbed all the liquid, but it's about 20 minutes. Uh, then make sure you fluff it with a fork, recover, set aside. Okay, back to the chicken pan. Now it's time to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Okay, now it's a time to add three tablespoons of curry powder, about a third of a cup of maple syrup, a quarter to a third, depending on how mapley you like it, a third of a cup of chicken broth, and you want to give this a chance to stir around and become kind of a slurry paste. Okay, and after you've given that, like, just enough time to combine you want to add one cup of plain yogurt then stir this around let it get incorporated and at this point if your rice is not done either have it on very very low heat or just kill the heat entirely because remember the rice is going to be hot and should bring your curry back up right now you just want to keep it just you know, give this about a minute, maybe two to heat up, and then kill the heat. And then, of course, add your chicken back in, which should have rested and gotten all yummy again. And then just stir this around, and hopefully our rice will be done pretty soon. In the end, you're looking for something that looks like this. A note, though, if you make this dish and you have white countertops or anything like that, clean this up immediately because it stains like a motherfucker. All right, let's just wait for the rice. All right, now it's time to plate this up. Rice is done, and what you want to do is take a decent amount out and make a little bed in your serving bowl. Like I said, if the curry's gone a little bit cold, it's fine. You see all the steam coming off of the rice. And then take the curry, the curry chicken thing, and place it on top. And that's really it. This recipe was absolutely delicious, super easy to do. So that's maple curry chicken. Done.